Dozens gather in City Hall, upset about their lead-ridden water, demanding relief and answers from city leaders. This following a discovery from health officials dealing with lead levels in Flint children's blood. It appears that lead levels could be higher or have increased. What can be done to deal with that in an effective fashion? And the latest development to come from Flint's water crisis, Governor Snyder's admission his administration made mistakes. We found there are probably things that weren't as fully understood um, when that switch was made. But it's an explanation that comes a little too late for Flint resident Arthur Woodson. And it's a uh, travesty right now, and they should have admitted this a long time ago when we had E. coli problems, TTHM problems, and now we have serious lead issue problems. And now the Michigan Legislative Black Caucus is asking Governor Snyder to issue a state of emergency as water problems continue to plague the city. So for the Legislative Black Caucus, uh, we are urging the governor to issue that so we can uh, have additional support from the federal government and other entities that will come to the table once an uh, emergency aid has been acknowledged. But ultimately, many of these people say only Governor Snyder can rescue Flint.